What's up guys? AK Crazy Russian with you today on DCC Train LLC live broadcast channel. So long live installations video that videos. That's what you're asking. This is what you're getting, okay? Top camera, bam. So uh let's get started with uh, Atlas and scale shape bingo uh, before yeah I, I'm planning those videos I try to do it in advance but a lot of stuff going is going on <laughs> uh, but I'll I tr I try uh, better manage it so anyway so what we have here we probably can turn the, all your questions guys I will answer through the broadcast it may be planned for half an hour because it will be three at least maybe two or three parts right so first part is mostly planning all right let's uh, get a little bit more space we don't need that camera pretty much yeah let's uh front camera yep here we go so that's the reason I try to explain sometimes the planning and proper execution of the of the installation that's the goal there is no rush if customer is like not not in a hurry for the train show or layout presentation or layout running sessions visiting layout event or whatever our life what's up my man so what is your uh, our life uh, sir can you log in with uh, with your um, uh, train channel so I can uh, give you a little bit um, shout out please anyway so this is our very good customer and I change my plans at least like three times over a few years I'm not kidding so I did maybe five six about yeah about that those installations with the Shea uh, using different technique so when I did my inst my first installation probably f six seven years ago uh, with that guy I use lens decoder and I use older, uh, I use Uhlenbrock decoder, that's a smaller one, and I use older ESU. This is ESU Micro uh, on wires, version 4. I don't think so we're going to get Bubble TV. Yeah, can you log in so I, uh, people can directly go to your channel, please? If it's not too much trouble. So what you see here, I already cut the plug. I need I need the plug for some reason. <laughs> yeah, I think I need the plug for different decoder. Usually, this guy we ordering with six pin plug. They are coming with eight pin, six pin. Um, I think that's that's how they coming. Anyway, so the planning honestly on my end wasn't really good. with the with the new um new parts i should say so i already, I already took it apart so save time and see i'm using this is mostly not beginner installation guys but use like bigger transparent um like this size oops some sticky stuff uh, kind of this is from some box kind of box you know easy to find everything and you're not gonna miss it's, it won't be a lot of parts sometimes I, I'm using bigger uh, cans or whatever to store so the older decoder was like almost twice thicker all right and before I have a, a little bit issue to actually to um, mount it here you know actually to hide it this time we'll see so also 
and let me check here yeah th there's like a screw and again guys I'm doing everything pretty much sorry about that from scratch <laughs> if I can hide it here like first time open first time my main preparation for this installation was LEDs a long time ago yeah it it fits in the cab like this way okay it will stick out a little bit that's okay but then scale guys not really uh, I don't want to say like crazy about like detail and stuff sitting out yes means you understand this is like small scale but again all the decoder was like twice thicker I don't think so it's going like exactly straight under here but I have plenty of space so what you can do um, and I'll show you in a couple of minutes so first of all last time I did that decoder installation I use surface mount bigger LEDs so for surface mount about like three millimeters by three I also I use regular three milli millimeters LEDs like round okay I pretty much um, uh, use the file and file them like no tomorrow Ooh, I think the legs just come yeah <laughs> unbelievable that's the quality of um, China Chinese uh, product you know the lead the leg come out from that LED and just sitting here and this is a um, shrink tubing yeah so it's uh, <laughs> we're done with this no kidding so uh, just let me take it properly um, what I'm going to do this time perfect time for cleaning also yeah it, it has some run but not much yeah some like definitely perfect time for cleaning I can do it later before assembly yeah that's good pick up all that stuff <laughs> all right yeah agent M MK MK yes it's this one is um, my installation level for this um, out of 10 about 8 the thing is to proper installation again this is another issue right there guys that's what I'm saying it it's somehow it's corroded and actually f just fell apart believe it or not yes unbelievable so let's actually clean it right now. Today I'm using my Weller uh, multifunction WD1 uh, soldering station with a tip. Show you in a second because I need to clean it. So we'll cover a lot of stuff, but again, it won't be like very long installation time. I have different uh, things to do. Yeah, in about half an hour we call day. Uh, Agent MK, you need to be on a DC train live channel, not LLC live channel. This channel in Russian, okay? With uh, it's called Maket DCC train. Yeah, or DCC train live. Maket DCC train and just uh, I'm usually scheduling in advance just need to come over there and uh, check it out mostly almost every day now okay a little bit confusing all that stuff let's get let's clean it first you got it okay good deal Wow, wow, wow. 
So again, preparation, ideas coming, going back and forth. So this time, I'm using surface mount LEDs, TCS, golden. I really like them. W today, I'm going to solder wires and um, see, testing with um, the top shell how, how it looks like. Last time it was it wasn't bad, so last time also when I did last uh, the, my um, another she guy, guy um, the transparent plastic here wasn't clear at all. It was some gooey stuff, you know, uh, and I told customer it's it, it, this is how you uh, sell, sell. That's how I got it the brightness of those surface mount those surface mount leds no this is like no this is very low quality see they even <laughs> they falling apart man the brightness of uh, surface mount leds are incredibly good don't know the numbers guys but again Rob and I installing them in HO locomotives, we're making custom lenses, and they shooting, man. Yeah, you pretty much need a, um, sunglasses. So, let's go. Yeah, time to clean my... This is, was intensive installation, and uh, I have probably good time to clean that uh, my... Um, this, uh, how was it called? Flux dispenser. Yeah, try to get rid of. I'm usually using fan to suck that fume, but again, it's not big deal. It's only a few touches. When I'm soldering wires and a lot of different stuff. There we go. Yeah, the, those contacts are good. I'm not gonna mess with them. I'll just leave them as is. There is um, some sticky tape under under them. I'm going to get rid of it and I put Captain tape. This is no more use. Even like resistor, resistor kind of okay, but no, no way. I'll put better quality elements. Yeah, that's my soldering gun. That scheme with the. Uh, WD one one M uh, Weller. It the nice part. It's like very small um, point, and it's um, very nice control temperature. And it's coming back in about we can. So it's right now for I'm around. 525 535 it's 410 right now so I'm taking and uh, it's 535 so like three seconds we're good get rid of this wow yeah that gooey stuff I'll I'll take out as well we'll do it soon um, so today we'll go through space for the decoder my plan is not showing like here on the motor not holding uh, not fixing it in here someplace around here or maybe top of the shell okay so last time last I remember those installations it was in the cab this time we'll try to avoid it because if we, if I put this together yeah this is bye bye we're done with this all right let's close it real quick prepare I may be not sure maybe I'll do like some cuts from the video because I'm recording it as well and put it on main channel but again guys that's what you're asking that's what you're getting live broadcast 
and I have tons <laughs> right now and I kind of better ma manage my time so definitely um, if you see through the coder is thick and it will be here also theoretically I, I I'm not a, I'm against painting that thing but you can use um, not electrical tape some some other tape or there is like cardboard and stuff to make will be very hard to do but kind of make block or I should say wrap it sort of kind of in cardboard that's again uh, this time I really wanna put it like under here maybe maybe some modification required or right under the that coil um, bunker I think it's coil right or oh, it's oil not coal yeah it looks like oil operated engine not sure you correct me I'm not big expert yeah so my plan is maybe I can stuck it here and that's always holding me it, it just I want to try something new and throwing me <laughs> out of the schedule try to be try to do nicer that's that's why um, right so let's do it like that pure experiment right now so I need to get just one second, sorry. Maybe too big, maybe not. No, it's good. Yeah, there's like small screw size of the, yeah, but it is. It, it, every time you just need to use proper proper tool it is working but honestly a little bit big so check my screws the four of them here and there identical and this is the fifth one is um, for them that um, and always guys uh, for that oil tank I guess cover or whatever see how they did it with this time oh yeah I see okay so moment of truth that thing I can see it right now for the screw is not gonna help me at all maybe I can fit it this way maybe maybe let's get rid of that piece all right Agent MK, I don't understand. Uh, Agent MK doesn't understand quality content and only three people watching. Well, that's um, changing my understanding. So, YouTube pretty much done with all those, I should say, entertainment stuff. Okay? Because I can see that reflection on my main channel. You you know DCC train just uh, just DCC train some stuff residue left I want to get rid of it before I forget I don't want it here yeah so uh, with my layout videos from different you know layouts YouTube lately I'm talking about two months ago start pay attention to that DCC train channel in general okay um, and remember they 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 get rid of a lot of literally like garbage stuff I means so i can make faces and some pretty much dumb stuff <laughs> why not but yeah i don't want to do it anyway i think i'm going to use uh, more patreon for um, some 
I don't know why I, I'm not using it. I know what's why I'm not using it. I just want to be stuck with it and promising something and not doing it. But yes, I have some idea. That will help too to promote and make some extra cash for like different projects. Advertise actually. I can use that money to advertise um, on a um, AdWords on Google. Okay, so one more time. No way, Jose. Okay, now we putting this. What I can do, I thought I can trim this this part here and by the way this is just chapstick good quality it's not like chapstick in cheap uh, places it's like nice uh, restaurant but yeah just bamboo chapstick so I can trim here still be able to screw thing let me check it out hey Dima what's going on yeah so the decoder size is just bigger in general all right bigger than this i think ulinbrock may fit or um it's longer i think um tcs these guys tcs don't remember not micro they calling it different something anyway doesn't matter um, probably can fit but I like on 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 those motors specifically I like um, it will be extra charge for cleaning no questions I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's the dilemma. I think I'm okay. Um, those the the M uh, TCS decoders, I think they just longer, and which is which is not really working well. To so yes, last time I did it, it was in the cab. And I kind of covered with, like I said from the beginning. Um, it's not touching. Yeah, I can get rid of the common here. I can get rid of that insulation as well. That transparent shrink tubing. And put like nice Copton tape. I think that's what I'm going to do. And then, because those um, extra stuff, it just hanging over, just no fun at all. Yeah, then, and that's your planning phase, guys. Okay, let's get rid of definitely uh, all days the lens decoders. They always without because lens um, concern about heat issue and they never shrink their decoders but technology change we're talking new um, completely new uh, electronics means the elements all right so what's the best way to get to, and this is not really thin thingy it's also <laughs> very thick so I yeah I can do probably cupped on tape easily and be careful so no pressure on elements for sure okay Fiscus, 
like 20 maybe 30 bucks or so made of gold right now <laughs> how many installations I use them man oh man perfectly works perfectly for that small stuff strongly recommend guys I'm usually not recommending stuff I don't like yeah see that's not a problem but somehow they put it on this side not sure why they shouldn't do it but anyway that will be easy peasy easy peasy yeah the common on the other side and I believe this is for um, three of those guys for uh, power power pack to keep alive motor yes very nice I'm going to test it as well before even like messing around I, I'm, I'm going to um, put that decoder on a tester test it before for f and run it for maybe an hour or so like coming back and forth all right so now moment of truth <laughs> still let's see yeah there is no way it's about again I don't know what's in I I'm still in metric system for the small items I don't mind I don't mind miles and feet and yards but in smaller than inch sorry it's complicated metric system million times better so it's about a millimeter and a half longer the board okay well same thing same thing here yeah so it's no way I can trim here but it it, it just not gonna work all right so now I think I have space and th this is what we're going to check it right now and I'm always saying guys no problem to try to do something it's 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 good you know but you need to stop <laughs> and contact me <laughs> don't try to really overwhelm it I think we in a perfect shape if I put double-sided tape um, that for painting my gray thing and I think I'm going to do it also right now the maybe issue with that screw or I have a better idea Uh, right now I I don't mind like just using it without insulation then the cupped on tape will be literally the hair thin you know I have maybe better idea maybe not no that's I thought about space like here but there is no way yeah it means the steam steam um, the assembly not assembly the steam whatever boiler here it's there is no room yeah it's just like cutting here and I thought it's, it's it's okay now see ideas like coming and going what about the vertical See, I told you, this is the toughest part. It's one way or the other. And that's what's usually holding me. I'm like, eh, I don't have any ideas and I'm running out of time. And like, eh. All right. So, not modifying anything, trimming or whatever. Let's see. If I put in this, there is like small pocket. It's hard to see, guys like inside of here that may be even I can probably keep the shrink um, shrink on top not sure nope 
not not gonna work it was very promising yeah, we're talking about like very very about half millimeter size maybe oh yeah that's not I remember Ulin broke the coder but they they not very high they're very good performance but we're talking about 10 years old technology yeah this is not not work is not gonna work at all now another try see I don't have that LED here right so I'm going this way in the back so you need to try different just keep keep trying because I don't have um, I think it's more space in the back again I'm not worried about if one wire uh, oh that maybe this is maybe 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 yep look oh um, some part oh this part is coming out yes I think now I, I yeah I remember that yeah just remember that so cool if I put this guy here again I don't care about um, the screws not on the way and again I if I put it in the back here it's not the LED also the LED will be right here and I permanently um, glue LED to the close it will be sitting on the lamp on the on the path this is this is looks like it's gonna work okay let me let me let me secure this real quick let's get the tape all right Oh, thank you, Fund, for uh, recognizing recognizing my quality content, man. <laughs> Again, but it's not it's not what YouTube wants for the money, man. YouTube mo wants something like, which is I can do, and I know. Oh no, not gonna tell you. <laughs> I know one guy just doing. Uh, his uh, preview screenshots like this but no not my style I can do different like stuff M not not for uh, like serious content especially model trains we are all serious about it right so who's first time this is in US I'm not sure who is the manufacturer in this is 3m I think now you can probably get it anywhere um, this is 3M double-sided tap, tape outdoor so you're putting like outdoor sign whatever you're using this because it's the whole thing is like made of that sticky stuff and it sticks pretty much to any surfaces concrete the best plastics and stuff this is just temporarily I'm not oops happening sometimes I'm not gonna use it or maybe we'll see yeah I'm going to insulate the decoder I don't want to surprise this and I want to um, test it as well so I just want to see if this or I can use you know guys my favorite micro crystal clear and secure the decoder with this after I put cupped on tape okay so let's see. Mm -hmm. 
I use alcohol to clean the it's probably some um, definitely some oil from from the gear here because it's not sticks very well which is perfectly fine right now so see it's almost fell off and it's good I don't care for right now usually we put you put one side and um, peeling it it sits like mm, easily yeah yep definitely definitely it's not clean it it has some oil or whatever yeah well Uh, probably using this side let's see I have another double-sided tape just like you know for um, here we go okay nice yeah it's totally <laughs> totally oil anyway I'm I'm still good with this. I just need to hold it for a little bit longer. Till we'll put this guy back. Okay. I'm just showing you guys also some some people just don't understand what's involved in this my major concern if 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 I'm not going I don't think so I'm going to use that tape but I will sh sh um, use uh, captain tape and secure the decoder with that decoder with them um, uh, micro crystal clear yes Do I have enough? I see now. Small issue. I can probably put it like in the angle. It it sticks out in that entire um uh, actually yeah, it sticks out a little bit longer. Bob, you're going to be happy, my man, with this. I almost guarantee you. So my point is, if I put this guy, after I, I fix the um, screw, and I put it exactly like that, we're done. First of all, LED, then keep it like this, fully secure, dry out in a couple of, about two hours should be good then it's absolutely clear here yeah watch this I can assemble it now and it I now main thing the that um, worm gear is n is not gonna shouldn't touch it to see that complex installation again preparation installation when you know what to do that's that's no problem okay pretty good all right uh, wire is a little bit on the way I like to get wires here yeah when I know what I'm doing this is just easy process but preparation yeah some uh, some people check you YouTube videos <laughs> well I'm making those videos and I don't think so I have the I think I did like very quick review not sure that was a while ago yeah that's what I'm saying quick review of that installation okay should be good be careful with the metal but that's okay it's metal parts I have ASD safe these I'm on ASD safe um, 
that map it's all good okay just by eye if it's touching anything shouldn't now very carefully we'll see if it's going to work I have to use my Swiss, uh, Swiss Army knife um, magnify thing to check it out. Hold on one sec. Get another light here. It will be a little bit bright, guys. Hold on. Looks like it's no touch. My point is that warm gear here by coming out of here. I'm not I don't care about wires wires will be properly managed they not gonna messed up no way and I think I have good space I think I have tremendous space maybe I'll take a picture and zoom on it but it looks like yeah it looks like I have at least two millimeters between that warm gear maybe you can see it better on that yeah bingo <laughs> bingo that's it now we have a uh, view more viewers right now. <laughs> yeah, I promise you guys I will do um solder um solder. I'm very happy honestly. Very very happy. Solder um some stick stuff. LEDs and we'll test it. Nice. Nice job, Alex. Very nice. Cool. It has decent size of means it has an air uh, around it yeah no problem we'll definitely need insulation so i'm taking it out definitely need insulation and um oh this is even thicker than i thought i have more space so great just great um that top I probably can assemble later if I'm can I eh, I just keep it for right now like that okay great job see on that channel also people coming from like anywhere in the world you know also it's saturday here it's nice weather in our um in our neighborhood it will be people preparation for we didn't do halloween stuff on thursday we didn't we didn't do anything uh on thursday right so it in our neighborhood in in anderson township it's canceled they're doing their own stuff i don't know so they suggest like to move it today and today is just great because it's chilly but it's totally nice weather cool surface mount leds golden nice um i'll solder one just saves time guys your time and also and but we'll test with one because i'm not gonna oh should not open it that's okay just put it in in the, in the bin bin yeah standard means three three point two two hot 20 milliamps led 
yeah. They have all numbers, but again, it's like um, inches make no sense. It's about two by one and a half by about yeah one and one and point two millimeters. Okay, good stuff. For this, you need tweezers, like you pressing them and they doing like this way. All right. So and good S flux. My flux is Kester 186 military grade. Don't need a clean after that. Done. Uh, usually I'm using for those surface mount. I'm use I'm usually rub for ditch lights and stuff. We're using this uh, magnet wire. Not. For that project, I will just use, and I'll test them uh, before I'm I'm soldering them. Would you? I just use a regular ESU. Nice thirty. I think it's thirty-six gauge wires. Okay. It's probably too long, but that's okay. I need. Uh, we'll get them for both but just do one done 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 one two okay there we go all that time the soldering gun was on standby position so it's at zero right now 155 I'll take it back it's 535 right now that's why I'm saying you're paying good money for it but it's I'm doing this for a living you know on kind of just my part-time job but still I cannot wait another minute you know when it's getting over hot I cannot control the temperature so I need good stuff and if you can afford, and if you're doing it, you'll see the big difference. Yes. Okay. Just a uh, <laughs> Radio Shack. No, I think I already used it. I just using the the spool. <laughs> Radio Shack. No kidding. Okay. Nice. Next time I probably put some ca side camera worth for like my ma it that's not really necessary right now m m macro um, shooting nice oh it's too much definitely time to clean for clean but again I did a lot of HO la lately it's okay don't wanna put a lot of like overwhelm with them with the flux as well yep done now cleaning with um, 90 90 whatever it is 90 percent alcohol hold on with some paper towel Here we go. Yeah, I need to clean it. Good cleaning means period. If I'm going to use it doesn't matter. C A or um um micro crystal clear it should be clean no flux residue or whatever clean move it here because it's some residue still here and just finalize to 
checking. Yeah, totally clean, nice. Yeah, I'll put like different camera. It it will gives you like better. Don't need it right now. Yeah, all good. So we'll put it on the side. All right. Now. Insulation, bye bye. All right, and I'll show you how I am doing it, guys. I don't care; it's anode or cathode or whatever it is. I forgot. Forgot. I don't even bother to do it. Okay, watch. I'm taking the coder. This is Zemo MX-63, also probably made of gold, <laughs> but you need to be very careful with this. So now I have insulated leg of that resistors. resistor, I think it's six, 680, okay, my two legs, my two uh, wires here, if it's crossed I don't I don't mind because it's not gonna do anything for the decoder damage decoder but if this leg accidentally touch in the signal out of here or one of the guys from the track but I will be um, just they won't be here straight to this application right so I put them on the side and I'm uh, putting on my output of the track and testing them and which is I'm calling it signal again I'm just calling it my way signal means it's yellow or white output of the decoder what white is um, headlight I have a power well good so this is hot right now so I'm connecting connecting the coder also what how, that's how I'm doing they never cross means you need a really messed up so definitely putting this a little bit on the side with those crocodiles I think they can you can get online electronic store doing like this and doing like this almost impossible to cross you know literally okay just put them a little bit further no no metal tools or whatever now I have extra stuff I don't need it as well put it further from here okay now where's my LED so common blue and this is I'm calling signal again that's me and again it's plus means we can do theory again <laughs> but I don't want to think about it so first of all I just putting this guy and my yeah make sure your system yeah so make sure your system is on address 3 or whatever you have for testing purposes my is on 3 forward and the light F0 is on okay opa lucky day you're not seeing it I already got it from oh now I messed up uh oh now I messed up <laughs> just kidding okay hold on yeah again I'm not worried about I'm not gonna blow the LED yeah here we go that's my pretty impressive the the brightness I'm telling you guys for HO for steam I'm lowering the output voltage like dramatically half probably okay now moment of truth we'll keep it now I can do this I just uh, twist it here okay yeah we're getting close maybe time but again I just want to complete it 
for right now. Should be um, take the, that insulation a little bit further, but that's okay. Should be good. Yeah. No wires on away. And now, because this is body made of metal. Everything painted I means even it's I think it's different part. Yes, so they they probably glue it and paint and paint it over. Check this out. <laughs> oh yeah. It's nice. For the steam era, locomotive like that. The rear will be maybe a little bit even brighter. Let me make sure I'm getting it straight to the look at this oops be careful it may be I'll probably put some CA to insulate yeah man this is like nice really nice in the dark I have a lot of light lightning here yeah this is good I'm happy okay let's let's do rear who very bright the rear maybe even no it's not gonna do my point is yes it's all metal it's all um, like die cast okay so die cast metal nice Oh yeah, Bob, you're gonna love it, man. Worth to wait to get it right. Nice. That's it, guys, for right now. Nikto potimu English, potamu it's English channel, my man. Maquette DCC train Maquette writing it down Maquette DCC train channel in Russian I'm not gonna do this over, over there because I don't think so it will be even very popular broadcast or whatever but that's it I'll try to find channel for you, my friend. Let's see what I can do. If I can. Maybe I can't. Mm. Just ED na maquet DCC train. You got it, okay? That will be all, guys, for, for right now. Pshu! Good deal. Um, happy. Very, very happy. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting business channel. I'll see you probably later uh, on broadcast on the main channel. All right. Thanks again. Have a good one. Bye-bye.